Hello and welcome to another scam tutorial for the tips and the hidden tricks that you didn't know in scam 2022. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to farm fame points and how to farm it fast. So when you start the game, if you want to meet up with your friends, you'll have to run all, all over the map to find them. Or you can just farm 50 fame points, commit suicide and then spawn in the same sector as they are. That will fasten up the process so you can start playing the game together. So what you need to do is when you log in, you make a stone knife with two stone rocks. After you've done that, you can cut the brushes around you, make the small sticks from the log wooden sticks, and then place around you stake pits. Stake pits goes and levels up your demolition skill. So that's why they give you so many fame points. All, all you need to do is just put the sticks inside of the blueprint and then delete the blueprint. It will give you a decent push for the fame points you need. So you can use the Alt C button to make a lot of recipes one after another. So the blueprints just follows up without you have to opening up your inventory and then placing it one after another. You can use this tip when you do the base and when you play the game. Next tip we're gonna talk about is about leveling skills in events. When you make a character, you can't put all of the skills advanced or medium. So some of them are really good to have, but you can't have them from the start. So best thing that you can do is when it's night time and when you see people are playing events, you just join them. You don't lose anything, you just teleport there, take your weapon of choice that you like using and then just go and kill other people. It's very easy and it's very fun to do. You will also learn PvP as you go. After you finish the event, you will also get fame points for doing it, so it's actually a good way to Increase your fame points, increase your stats, and learn the people you're playing in on the server. The XP you get from the event is actually very good, so you will get rifles leveled up pretty soon. Awareness. So awareness is a skill that not actually a lot of people use. Okay, next tip is that we're gonna talk about is fishing. So fishing is not commonly used when people are playing just because the fish currently doesn't have much point. So when you catch a fish and you chop it, the food that you can make and cook is actually not really good. So you need a lot of fish to get your metabolism and food up. So the best thing with fishing is that you can catch random stuff when you do it. So if you get lucky, you can catch a hand grenade and a dildo. That's what we catch so far. I don't know what else can you catch, but that's also not bad when you're catching fish and you accidentally catch a hand grenade. You can use it.
So the last patch they updated temperature. What that means is that everything that is on the sun is affecting its quality. So if you have a wardrobe inside of your base that it's on the sun, the quality of the food that is inside will drop more frequently and faster. So you actually need to care about it. Next tip is that we're gonna talk about is when you start the game and you see a care drop dropping by really close to you. You don't have screwdrivers. If you don't have a crowbar, it will actually be very hard. So what you do is you build a wall in front of the drop crate. You wait until the clock ticks 30 seconds, you get inside and after 25 seconds, all of the wardrobes will be unlocked. So you have more than enough time to get everything from the care drop, put it in your backpack and then just run and hide behind the wall. So the, the next tip we're gonna talk about is about building the base. So when you build the base and you just start, it's very hard to defend your defend your base until you get the gold gold locks for it. So what you can do is just put a foundation behind it. Because when you put a behind foundation behind the door, enemy can't jump inside without having to bring C4 to destroy the foundation itself or destroy the walls around it. So it's actually a good trick that you can use if you don't have iron uh, if you don't have gold locks in the start. Just remember to destroy the wooden platform after you look out. So the last tip we're gonna talk about is the tip with the quick slots. When you put your scopes on the quick slots, it works like this. When you first click it from the quick slot, the red dot goes into your backpack. Then you can press another one, like a ACOG, and then the ACOG is equipped directly into your weapon, so you don't need to open your backpack and put it directly on the gun. After you want to remove the ACOG, you just click on it again, and then you click the red dot. It takes some bit of adjustment to get into it, but when you, when you learn it, it's really good in PvP, and it will win you a lot of PvP fights. One more thing that you can add to a quick slot is your handgun, so you can shoot while driving. That will actually help you killing enemies that are on foot, or even if you want to make a drive-by, or even if the other team is attacking you with the car. So that's all of my tips I'm gonna talk about today. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, like it and subscribe and see you in the next one.